kind of a learning curve. Um, very difficult year, uh, without question. I think it all started with the death of our offensive line coach. I don't know that we ever really fully recovered from that, uh, just to keep, keep it real. Um, but I do think uh, coming out of that was a tremendous amount of experience. Uh, we knew going into 2015 that it was going to be, it was going to be, you know, thrown off into the deep end, the learning curve, the learning process. I'm really excited about the fact that uh, we did win two games and in four others we were very close. And I, I think, given another year of, of weight room work and, and growth and that type of stuff, that we can be a bowl team next year. I think that's an attainable goal and one that we all have, uh, you know, moving forward. Um, but, uh, but this season was, uh, we probably characterize it more as a learning curve. Uh, we learned a lot about what Conference USA is, uh, what Division I football looks like, uh, what it takes to prepare for that each week. And I think as we uh, went through the season, our kids got more and more used to that, a little bit better at it, and uh, um, you know, started doing some uh, pretty neat things there at the end. You know, when, uh, when you put on a helmet and go between the white lines, they responded well. That the problem is no one can see it is when you go home at night and, and when you're in class in the afternoon. Those moments where football isn't the distractor um, or reminder at sometimes to, to, to you know, help you play harder. Um, I think that was very difficult. On, I know it was difficult on me and our staff. I can only imagine what it was on, on a teenager. Um, but, but without any excuse, uh, I, I think, uh, you know, I think uh, it, you know, something that happened we all had to deal with and, and moving forward, we're, uh, we're going to try to continue to honor him. Yeah, not only Khalif, but I also think up front, uh, as we mentioned, our, our whole identity and philosophy here at Charlotte is to run the football uh, and to, to, to do it fast with tempo and then to throw play action throws off of those runs. Uh, it all starts with Khalif. Uh, Khalif had another really good season. I think he rushed for 100 yards over, th uh, I think, in three games. Um, you know, one was against Temple, one of the better teams in the country. Um, uh, but ag again, our offensive line, although banged up and injured this year, we had to shuffle some kids around. We were able to play some young guys. I think we're going to have that added experience and depth next year. So moving forward, I think we're going to continue to be one of the better running teams in our conference. We've had a circle around 2016. Uh, again, we knew uh, 13 and 14. We, we, in 13, we had to find out who we were and if we were good enough. Um, in 14, we built upon that success and became one of the best 1AA offenses in the country. We knew in 2015 that was going to be the learning curve year. We had to get a we had to get a feel, had to put our toe in the water and see if it was warm or cold. Uh, but we did in 16 know that we were going to have 25 to 35 fourth and fifth year seniors coming back, and that's the class you're referring to. Uh, we're excited about those guys. They're old. Uh, they shave now. Um, they, they've all played in 30 plus college football games. Um, you know, they've played a lot of Division I talent at this point. They know what it takes here in the offseason. And, and that whole group, whether it was the signing class in 2012 with Matt Johnson and, and Austin Duke and, and that class, or, or the 2013 class of Trent Bostic and Khalif Phillips and those guys that are, have all played three straight years. Uh, we're really excited about that core group of guys coming back. And, and again, it, with the circle around 2016, we were close last year in, in, in six games. And I think the attainable goal is to get to a bowl game. And, and we're all looking forward to that. I mean, yes and no. Every year, when you lose that hunger and passion, regardless of whether you were 10 and 0 and 0 and 10, going into the next year, it's time to hang them up. This job's way too too much of a grind uh, to to not have that already within you and the way you're wired. Um, I think our staff and our football team are are all collectively wired that direction, um, and it's a positive vibe around here moving forward. Uh, to answer your question, there is a there is a positive tone, even though there was a you know, a black mark on the record, um, there's a very positive toe moving forward. I think our kids have bought in. Um, I think we have the right people in place, and I'm, uh, we're all excited to get out there for spring ball and, and certainly this fall to, to, to you know, get that start towards a bowl game.